Thanks, Gina. We have heard story after story as we've gone on this 60 mile journey and I haven't not cried at any of the stops. <laughs> but like I'm crying extra hard when we're sending to my own kids' school, the school where I personally am an election official when we vote in the gym, the school miles away from my own home, just thinking about all of the kids who are really counting on us. These budget battles are about the money, for the resources our kids need, but we're not fighting for the money, we're fighting for the kids. Thank you, Gina, for the reminder Woo! that the fight doesn't end today. I can't wait to get to the Capitol and let our lawmakers know that we intend to hold them fully accountable for what they do today. They need to know that we are watching. We are watching them ignore us. We are listening to what they're saying on the floor. We are recording their votes in our own score path. And we are going to let our community members know what happens in Madison this week. We are going to follow up with the scorekeeping of our own and hold them wholly accountable for whatever they do today and tomorrow. And we are gonna put pressure on the governor to make sure that he knows that we expect a budget that serves our kids. That's right. yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm sick of fighting for crumbs. I'm sick of going for town to town and crying, yeah. right? We need a budget that delivers on the promise that Wisconsin has made to its children. We can't let them down again. So thank you for everyone who is joining us on this journey. It is a long and arduous one, but it's also one with lots of highs and lots of connections that we've made along the way and beautiful relationships and I appreciate and value the time and energy and compassion that everybody is putting into being with us today. I especially want to thank the Spark and Support Some Prairie Schools teams for hosting this beautiful breakfast. Thank you. Special thanks to Kathy. Kathy, who is a retired teacher in the district and also Gina's mom. <laughs> Hold on. I, there's a whole lot. There's other things. People I have to thank. Um, no, but Barachos donated all the food that we ate last night. Yeah. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts donated donuts. Cops and there's there's a whole list over there of all the of all the local organizations. Beans and Cream. Beans and Cream gives gives coffee to for every school in the district for the whole Teacher Appreciation Week every year. And the, our community supports public schools so hard, and this is the story that we hear everywhere we go around the state. People love their public schools. Why do we have to fight for them? This is the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the list, the list of, of, of local sponsors is huge and long, and we appreciate the support of everyone here, but we also appreciate the support of our elected officials. Um, Bryn, Tom, uh, uh, Carol, are, are there any other school board members here who I miss? Can you please raise your hands up? Thank you for being here today. We're lucky to have a school board that is such a strong voice at the Capitol and beyond for our public schools. You set a high bar for other districts to follow. Thank you, Brad, for being here today. And Paul, uh, I see uh, Bill Connors from our city council is here today too. Are there any other elected officials in the room that I've missed? Mike Jacobs was here yes. earlier. Oh yeah, I saw him. He gave me 20 bucks for sure. <laughs> So yeah, our, our city has come together around public schools again and again and again. The state is coming together for our schools again and again and again. Last night we had additional school board members here. Uh, Marilyn Ruffin was here as well and we had Annalise Eicher and Julie Schwellenbach who are our county board, board supervisors and our state representative Gary Hebel stopped by the dinner. Sun Prairie could not be more united in its support for its kids. Let's call on lawmakers to show their support for them as well. Whether you're here to march with us for a mile out of town or all the way to Madison, thank you for being here. 
If you're watching this live, you can meet up with us at 115 to walk from Madison East High School to the Capitol where we'll hold a rally at 2.30 p.m. today. We invite everyone to join us for that, whether you can walk along or not, you're uh, more than welcome to join us there. We'll have enough lunch for everybody at 12.30 at East as well with a special guest appearance from our Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barr. Yeah. Those of you who are marching, we are going to do a quick team overview with Jenny Hoff Schulte, President of Parents for Public Schools Milwaukee, She's right over here. And so I invite you to come over here if you're joining the march, and then we'll do a team photo of everybody who's here, if you don't mind, and we'll do that out in front of the school as we walk out. Okay, so thank you everyone for joining us today. We appreciate your support, and we continue the fight for the kids that are counting on us.